In our last video, we updated the backdrop, and now what we're going to do is we're going to um, do some more things with our vehicles. So go ahead and click on that first vehicle that um, that that is able to kill the frog um, or your frog or creature. And we're going to start with a couple of things that are just slightly different. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate this for a second, and I'm going to show you that if I just um, click to activate this go to X it's not in perf mine is not perfectly in the lane anymore and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move it so it's a little bit more perfectly in the lane and you can tell here that the over here in the sidebar this is the actual coordinates of where that car or that vehicle is right now and so as I move the vehicle up and down you can see that every time I let it go that it's updating these coordinates over here to say is this the spot that you want it to go to but it's not updating the coordinates up here which we've already pulled out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the vehicle in the correct location so that should be it right about there I'm going to then grab a new go to XY and attach that in and now this vehicle should be good to go and when I click the green flag you'll see it goes right across I'm still running it fairly slow. Um, my vehicle is only doing a change X by uh, two. So I'm just gonna leave a note here. Um, so on this one, oh, I'm going to add a comment and say this is, uh, actually I'll just say the starting point. Starting point. Um, so that I can come back to it later. And then um, this one, I'm gonna add a comment and call it speed and we're definitely going to want to come back to this later um, and uh, I can shrink that up a little bit just, these comments are helpful but they're a little bit big um, and then this one here is going to be the same starting point so I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to duplicate this one piece up here I guess I was a little too a little too excited to add it in I should have separate duplicated it first and, Put it back in place so there's a starting point and for some reason it's going again so I'll just click one time sorry click one time to make it stop or I'll click the stop sign one way or the other it'll stop um, and so if it's touching edge and so the, the rest of this this is just to help me so that when I duplicate the vehicle um, that it's it's super easy for me to do so there's a number of different ways to duplicate the vehicles. I'm going to show you what I think is the simplest one. And that is that we're going to um, add a new vehicle. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to type in, let's say cars. Oh, nothing there for cars, just car. So there's a food truck, there's a convertible, there's, a, oh, I like this truck. Oh, look at all the different color choices. Okay, yeah, truck's going to be had. And uh, what I can do, you'll see here that there's no code right now on the truck. And so I'm going to go to the convertible. Um, for some reason that got all messed up. So I'm going to go to the convertible and I'm going to drag this code onto the truck. Now when I do this, I'm going to drag from the topmost piece, which is when the green flag is clicked. And I'm going to drag all the way until my mouse is on top of this little truck icon. And that's what's going to drag it there. So if I click and drag, you see it's all moving with me. But I'm going to keep going until my mouse is actually on the little blue truck. And you see it kind of, it does a little dance to say, yeah, this is where we're going to put it. So then you, and you just let it go. So now if I click on the truck icon, here is the code. I guess the comments didn't come with it, which is very sad. Um, and for some reason, this is all moved over. I'm not really sure why. So I'm just going back to the the original car, try and clean this up a little bit. So here's the truck. The truck is now a little bit large and not in the right place. So I'm going to uh, go to the costumes area and I'm going to choose one of these costumes. Isn't that cool? Wowzers, okay. We'll, we'll go with uh, this costume for right now. And I'm going to resize it down. I'm going to guess 50 would be a good size. Oh, maybe a little bit less. How about 40? 
and that's a little bit better. It's sort of relative to my car. Does that look about right? Yeah, it does. And then I'm just going to put him, maybe I should make a little bit less, about 35. There we go. So that's, I'm just kind of just guesstimating with the numbers. It starts at 100 and goes down to zero. So uh, there's the truck it's going to drive along. And uh, what I want to do is I want to get that starting point. So I go back to the code. And you'll remember that the starting, oops, the starting point is here. So there's a go to x, y, and then it's the same starting point here. So these are the ones that I'm going to throw away once I'm sure that this is in the right position. And for now, I'm going to say I'm sure that's in the right position. So I'm going to attach it here. Uh, and then I'm going to attach the same one inside there and throw these away and attach it back together. So in order to do this now, when I click on the green flag, you see that the vehicles both go uh, across the lane down the lane and they seem to be working just fine they're slightly offset simply because one vehicle touches the far edge a little bit faster than the other one but as you notice uh, this is the supposed fast lane or passing lane on the highway so let's change our truck so that it's going just a little bit faster than the car so where it says change x by two that's our speed um, and so let's change that for now let's just change it to a three we can always get into decimals and all that fun stuff later on, but let's just go with the three. So now when I click the green flag, the, the truck is moving uh, significantly faster than the car. And if you would like to make it so that the car is in, they're in different lanes and which one is travel, you, you go right ahead. Um, so I'm, I've got this working now. So I'm going to leave you with a challenge before the next video. See if you can figure it out. Um, the other lanes of this highway are going to go in the other direction. And the uh, starting points are going to be on this side, and they're going to go this way. If you stop the video now, can you figure out how to do those other two other vehicles, um, one in each of these lanes? So change the starting point and changing um, the speed. Can you figure out how to make them go that way? So that's your challenge. I'm going to demonstrate how to do that in the next video. So please stop now and give that a try.